greed, avarice, envy. These are but some of the words that I would use to describe most people in 2018 society. Money has become the be-all and end-all. In my circle of friends and acquaintances, the desire for money is what is driving most of them. Despite this insatiable hunger to get more money, I know very few people are actually any good at managing their wealth. Most people I know get paid on a Wednesday, then have almost nothing left by the weekend. It's not that they're bad people, it's just that they've lost any ability to actually save for the future. And this is exactly what our capitalist society has demanded of them. There are so many ways to get credit nowadays, with buy now, pay later services such as Afterpay, easy access to credit cards, even supermarkets are spruiking them nowadays, personal loans, car loans, mortgages, it's easier than ever to borrow money. But because of all this, people are forever paying off debt. When they get paid on Wednesday, most of their money is immediately whisked off to the money lenders before they even have a chance to see it. And what for? Why do people get into so much debt? It all comes back to the starting three words of this video. Greed, avarice, envy. People don't want to wait anymore. People can see that their neighbour has a new car, so they want one too. Right now. The idea of saving for six months, or a year, is beyond most people's capacity. Patience has become a lost virtue. It's not that these people don't have an income. Most people I know have a fairly decent income, but they're still living paycheck to paycheck. They complain that they don't have enough money in their bank accounts. They complain that the prices of groceries have gone up. But yet they've got a new car out in the driveway, a $600 fan heater in the living room, a $900 cyclonic vacuum cleaner hanging on the wall, and endless amounts of toys in their children's bedrooms. Actually, we live in a time when everything is cheap, historically speaking. Food is cheap. TVs are cheap. Clothes are cheap. But yet most of us are in massive debt, especially Australians. What has the world come to where this is the norm? Why is it okay for a person to have three or four different credit cards, all maxed out? The rich capitalists and financiers love it. They don't have to do anything anymore. They can just sit back and watch the money roll in. I'm not trying to take anything away from them. They've found their niche in society where they can profit from people's innate desire to keep up with the Joneses. Of course, the whole system is dependent on debt. Without debt, the whole economy would come crashing down. Despite people's lavish lifestyles, which they actually don't consider lavish anymore because everyone else is doing it, they always say they want more. If only I had a million dollars, then everything would be better. If only I had a better job, then I'd be able to buy a bigger house. But I think we all know what would happen if these people suddenly won a million dollars. It would all be wasted. Do you really think that a person who is up to their eyeballs in debt would suddenly become financially literate because they now have more money? Of course not. They would spend it until it's all gone. I doubt even most people would pay off their debts. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh, but from the people I've experienced, paying off debt is usually the last thing on people's minds. They'd much rather be able to show off a new house or a luxury car than do something smart like paying off their credit card debt. I've seen it time and time again. To them, paying off a debt is like an invisible act. If they spend $50,000 paying off debts, they feel like they've got absolutely nothing to show for it. A $50,000 car? Wow, that's something. A $50,000 mortgage repayment? Boring. Many people, especially people who don't know me well, confuse me for a poor person. They think that I must have very little income and very little savings because I don't have an expensive car and I live in a small rented flat. But for some reason, I just don't care what people think. I'd rather be living in a small flat than up to my eyeballs in debt. If you have debt, you are a slave. A modern day capitalist slave. What's worse though, is that your slave master didn't buy you. You voluntarily walked into the slave pens and shackled yourself into a cage. I didn't want to be a slave, so I paid off all my debts and became financially free. Yeah sure, I still have to work. Not much, mind you. I still have to pay bills and send children to swimming lessons. But I don't have to pay the bloody bank. I don't have to pay them back at their exorbitant interest rates because I couldn't wait two months to save up for a new TV. Actually, they pay me. Any money that I have saved, they pay me interest. Not much, mind you, but at least it's money flowing in my direction. I see people who gamble every week. They throw their money down the pokies or try to win it big at the next horse race. They justify their actions by convincing themselves that if they just win $100,000 or a million dollars, they'll quit gambling and live the good life. But do you really think that a poor gambler would stop gambling when they become rich? Of course not.
They'd see an opportunity to make even more money and then lose the lot. Just look at most lottery winners. Back in 2002, Andrew Jackson Whitaker Jr. won $114 million US dollars in the National Powerball. He had it all, but he went to strip clubs, bought people houses, had large amounts of money stolen from his car, lost his wife, and had people try to drug him and rob him. His granddaughter became addicted to crack cocaine and was handing out wads of cash to any boys who would show her the attention that she desperately craved. She ended up dying from a drug overdose in 2004. 90% of lottery winners lose the lot in the first 12 months. It makes sense. If the average person is willing to get into huge debt when they only have a fairly average income, then what would change if they suddenly had a large cash windfall? They would still have their same bad habits. They would still set out to impress their friends and neighbours by buying more and more material goods. The money would just disappear like it always has. So if you really want to become rich, the best thing you can do is stop getting into debt. Actively avoid credit cards. Paying off your loans should be your top priority. Stop borrowing money for things that will ultimately lose value. The phrase that I currently see going around on the internet at the moment is, don't invest in things that rust, rot, and depreciate. A new car will eventually become worthless. A TV set will become old. Luxury clothes will become unfashionable. Don't waste your money buying rubbish. Nobody cares if you drive a Lexus or a Yaris. The only people who care are the bank managers who get a bigger commission from your stupidity. The wealthiest people in the world are not doctors. The wealthiest people are not technicians. The wealthiest people in the world are investors. They've learnt that saving money and investing is a far better way to wealth than getting into debt and splurging on luxury cars. You can be a slave to money if you want to. You can get yourself into debt and spend the rest of your life paying it off. You can stick all your money down the poker machines hoping to get the next big win. Or you can wake up and stop pretending that people around you actually give a shit about your material possessions. Nobody cares. You're only hurting yourself. Break free of the shackles, my enslaved friends. You are the master of your destiny. Only when you have nothing will you realize the value of anything.